Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Last time, <clears throat> we met up with Ferris um, out in the open world. He told us how to get to the Snow Temple, and here we are. So, let's get started. We got no time to waste. So last time I remember, this dungeon is a bit of a... It's not exactly hard. It can just be very tedious sometimes. Alright, looks like we got frozen glass. Or not frozen frozen grass. Not glass. Look at that bell over there. I wonder if there's some sort of trick to it. I don't know, but first I wanna get rid of this choo-choo. Oh gosh, ice physics. I hate ice physics. <clears throat> Okay, so push that that way. Tom, what do we got here? Two middle bells. All right. No <laughs> first box puzzle. Too hard. Very simple indeed, actually. There we go. Oop, oop. And then I totally failed the jump. That seems about right. In between episodes, I cooked myself a pizza, and like the ding dong that I am, I touched the frickin' pan whenever it first came out of the oven. So now I've got a burned finger. And it hurts a lot. Dude. Dude. There we go. There we go. Basement one. This way. Go that way. Okay, that should be good. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Down here, I see it on the map. Why right down here? Oh, it's a treasure chest. Yeah, let's go. Come on. No, come back. There you go. Get your little thing. I know you can do it. Maybe do it closer. There we go. <clears throat> Come on. Aha. Pirate necklace. It can only be worn by one who is destined to become the leader of the pirates. How does that work? Um, oh, I see. Come on. Good thing. Thank you.
Anything that involves the mic with this game, playing like this, it's very annoying. I'll say that now. So I just, I don't want to have to mute my mic every time that I gotta blow into the Wii U gamepad. Anyways, we got the boomerang. Like, we didn't see that coming. Boomerang's pretty cool, you know. It's a boomerang. You just draw, you draw a line to make it go wherever you want it to go. You can only go a certain distance, though. So, like, you'll see if I just do this. Eventually, it just stops. Okay. So, what's this one? <clears throat> it's like middle, high, high, middle. child be free be free um. oh I see okay I got it now this way this way that way, this way to line up with the top one. And from here, I can just go down. All right. And then this time, we got to use the boomerang and do middle, high, high, middle. Ding, 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 dong. Dinner time. Main course for tonight, your death. <laughs> Alright, now we've got a bit of a cool mechanic that I do like in this game. So, um, you've probably seen it before, whenever I was hitting that one switch, getting that small bell out, how the line kind of changed to blue. Well, that's because if you throw your boomerang through any kind of, um, fire or ice uh, torch enemy whatever it'll turn into that element so like if we were to throw it into the fire here and we just kind of throw it around it'll get fire on it and it'll melt all the snow around it so now we know what to hit them with so if you hit the center one and then we do that it'll light the other torches as well that's one thing I think is really cool so there's gonna be some puzzles later on where it's gotta it's gotta be like you throw it in the fire light a couple torches throw it back into the ice light a couple torches throw it back into fire light a torch yada 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 so Another cool thing is if you throw it through an ice torch, just like the fire one melting snow, the ice one will create an ice path on the water. I gotta be careful, it does have ice physics, and it doesn't last forever. So you gotta keep refreshing it from, from time to time. Got a small key, let's go. Up this way. Okay. So as you can see, that that spinny thing up there is currently iced over. So we gotta find some fire torches in order to in order to ignite it. Gosh, my nose is really acting up today. Haha! -ha. Nice try. 
I don't know. I just think it's a cool mechanic. Alright, you see now... <clears throat> with this fire on hand, we can throw it in the fire, bring it back this way. And boop. Get our thingy thing out. Oh, it gets hit by the wall. Let's, let's see if I can angle it around the wall here. There it goes. Nice. So then we need to get the boomerang back out and do that. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit more of a pathway. There we go. That's better. No. Just scroll all over the place, get a nice path going everywhere. Come on. There we go. There's one somewhere else, but I forget where it is. There it is. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, there it is. Get over there. Um, okay. Oh, maybe I gotta beat all the enemies. What's over there? Oh shoot, that, that might be the stamp. Yeah, sure we is. Let's go get that while we're here. Ooh, don't fall in the water. What, stamp? Yeah! Give it a stamp, but... I think I just saved that. Okay. Big green rupee, 100 rupees, let's go. Oh, now we get the big bill. Really big bill. I think this time we gotta. Yeah. What does that button do? I wonder. Let's go see. Let's go find out. What does this do? Oh, that opens the thing. <coughs> and it stays open. Cool. Um, okay, so we gotta... We gotta put it right here. So we can go... Straight across. How are we gonna do that? I see. I see how. Push it up there. Push it up there. Push it down there. And then do. And do. And now we make the ice bridge. Mm hmm. All the way across. Awesome. Bring this lamp over here. Oop. Oh, come on. There it goes. Bring that lamp over there. So now it can reach. <coughs> we need to do something like... Like that. Okay. 
push, push, walk so we don't throw ourselves into the water. Ta-da! Now we gotta go find out what the combination is. Ah! Oops. Which I believe is right over here. Yes. Come on. Get that keys. Get that keys. Don't fail me, boomerang. Yeah. Okay, it looks like it's just um low middle middle high middle. It's gonna be something like do 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 do. I don't know why I sang it out. I just felt like it. Why not? Okay. Um. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Yeah. Floor two. Oh, this is the puzzle I was talking about. <coughs> I believe now we can just. Yeah. There we go. Don't have to use the, f the thing anymore. Um, let's see here. Okay, so... Fire. Fire! Ice! Fire! Ice! Ice! Easy enough. Ta-da! I believe you can also brute force that. Because there's only so many combinations you can do, so... Why not? Got wolfies. Two for one. Back him into a corner. Ha ha! Oh. Ha ha! Yeah, ha ha ha. Got a star fragment. Nice. Okay, you. Oh, I see. I see. No, come here. Switch to this one. Bada bing, bada boom. Go ahead and re equip our boomerang. Come here, you. Get in there. Alright, now we're on to the boss. Um, we're at full health. Send me the blue light, return to the temple entrance. Do I have enough time? I believe I do. Let's do it. Oh. 
Fraz, Master of Icy Fire. Okay, I believe the point of this one is to counter him. Blue, so you gotta use ice or fire. If he's blue, do the red one. If he's red, do the blue one. Oh, then he does this crap. You can see on the map which is which. So I'm gonna need to do 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 do. Put them back together. No, my torches! I need those! Yeah. So yeah. Well, phase two. I've, you already seen what I did. But he uses his attacks against him. Even on this phase. Hello, it's me from the future. Um, I've decided to pause your little video here to explain the section where Fraz decides to split into two. Because I realize I don't, I don't think I ever explained it. Um, if I did, I'll just cut this part out. But whenever Fraz splits into two, if you look on the top screen, you'll see one of them is blue and one of them is red. Those correspond to both fire and ice, and it's pretty self-explanatory with uh, Fraz being together. You just wait for them to attack you, you use the boomerang, and take out the uh, respective Fraz counterpart, I guess you could say. Um, you, But you gotta get both of them at the same time, so you have to do it all in one singular swoop. So, once you do that... Fraz will melt down, come back together, and then you can continue the fight as normal. So that's all for me. Here's this dingbat again. Come on. All right. Now, doop, 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 doop. What? I'm sorry. I got it wrong. Excuse me? There we go. Alright, come on, buddy. Oh, he's gonna do me. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Come on, buddy. I ain't got much time left. Oh. Okay, whenever he does this, you can use his attack to inflate him faster. Okay, I don't see how that hit me, but whatever. There we go, and he's done. Time! How'd I do, coach?
You did it! You could have been frozen stiff or burned to a crisp, but you avoided both. Sorry I couldn't, um, be more help when you were risking your life out there. The snow rail map started glowing. The tracks of the Tower of Spirits have been restored. Yeah, buddy. What'd you get? Got a heart container. Alright, well. Great job, Kiva. Let's get back to the Tower of Spirits and tell Angie and the good news. You got it. Oh, I thought that was a treasure chest up there. Um, well, I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> let y'all watch the trip back to the Tower of Spirits. I'm gonna go ahead and meet myself. Thank y'all for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. Make sure to take care of yourself, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. <laughs>